hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm coming to you with a one week update of my 60 day challenge that i'm currently doing um excuse my face i am moisturizing right now i tried like i said on my last video i tried to do this once a week just to get a really deep cleaning so that's what i'm doing now if you're interested i got it from walmart this is the one I'm using, the cucumber and pink salt mask. So as I let that sit, I'll just talk to you a little bit about the challenge. Okay, let's get into it. So it's been one week. I started on the first. I'm officially doing pescatarian. So that means I'm just doing tuna, fish, and shrimp and no turkey no chicken no beef no pork no nothing like that and of course veggies fruits so so far so good on the meat aspect um some of my some of my meals i have incorporated the fish and some of my meals i incorporated the shrimp as well as sometimes not incorporating either or just doubling up on my veggies and my greens and stuff like that so so far so good as far as not being tempted to eat anything outside of what i committed myself to um so i'm just gonna run down a few things i wrote a few things down just to give you a glimpse of what this challenge has been for me thus far so um i did a five day this was not intentional, but because I was off for five days, I decided to go in the gym and really commit myself and go in there every day and work hard. So that's what I did. So I was on a five day marathon in the gym every day, every day for five days straight, which I never done before. So this was, this was a eye opener to what I could handle, what I can do, and also just the level of strength that i've seen in myself throughout the week so the five day challenge i will go in i will do either my upper body my lower body and i also incorporate one day of cardio so the cardio day was strictly just making sure i work on my breathing when i run and if i got on the stair stepper i just made sure you know, I stayed on there for a portion of time so that way you get those muscles and everything going and working and the sweat running and, you know, the heart rate going up. So I really committed myself for, um, to incorporate one week of cardio. So I will be doing that more often because I don't do cardio as much. I mostly do weight training. So I want to try to get at least one day out of the week of cardio. Um, what I will say, I do need to work on my breathing as far as when I'm running because I was doing high intensity, low intensity. So I'll go on, I'll run for about two minutes straight, high, like 7.6 miles per hour. And then I'll, you know, get off and let my heart rate come down and then get back on and go and go and go. And I did that for 15 minutes and already you know that we have to wear the mask so that makes it a little more challenging but i also need to work on my breathing so i'm trying to work on like inhaling and exhaling properly so that way when i do run i can last a little bit lo more longer so other than that um my muscles was very sore especially my my legs and my hamstrings those were the most hard, those were the, I felt really, really sore. Sore to the point where I had to literally sit in a tub for about two days back to back to just rest those bones and those areas. And even though I did a break in between, so say for an example, I did arms on a Monday and then I did you know my legs and my glutes and everything like that on a tuesday i wouldn't do that my legs and my glutes and stuff until maybe like a friday so give it a, a, some days in between to rest but even then 
I felt like I was still sore. But I did um, found myself squatting a little bit more often, so that might contribute to the soreness. But other than that, I felt myself getting stronger. I felt more motivated every day I was going to the gym. I had it in my mind what I had to do, what I wanted to do. Also, recording helps keep me accountable because sometimes I want to upload videos for you all. So to go in the gym, you know, to have to know that I have to work out, it helps me knowing that I have to eventually upload a video and put it out to you guys. So, um, yeah, but five days a week, I said I want to go in a little bit more this year, especially for these two months, just to see what my results panned out to be. So the five days wasn't bad. Maybe I will do three days and then a break in between and then two days again, just to give my body enough rest and make sure that I'm properly resting those muscles. So that way when I go back in, I can go a little bit more heavier, a little bit more longer and get ultimately get more stronger. Okay, so confessional time. <laughs> like I said, the challenge so far has been not bad. The five days, you know, I've been consistent with my eating. I will try to upload a few pictures of some of the stuff that I made over the course of the week. If not, um, I will just let you know that I did, like I said, fish and shrimp, veggies, fruit, oatmeal, protein shakes, boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, avocados, just whole healthy food as much as possible that I can get in my body. And lots and lots of fruit because i did get some sugar cravings i was craving sugar at some point i also was craving salt so i'm a chip eater and i love chips and what i found myself doing is eating a lot of crackers so i bought these whole grain thinking you know whole grain is more healthier blah blah blah, blah. however i'll eat one pack and then i find myself eating another pack and it's like calm down because you know one pack is one serving size don't go beyond that but i found myself craving more salt and even in the times where i'll eat my meal for the day my two meals for the day and now i'm like why am i still hungry why am i still hungry what can i eat what can i eat so i'm looking around looking around like okay what am i going to eat and i end up eating another pack of crackers which is not that good because it is a lot of, I mean, it's three, 310 milligrams in sodium. So, you know, that's a lot of salt. And then it has sugar in it because of the peanut butter. And so I think my body was just craving sugar and salt at some point. I also started eating these. Let me let y'all guys know. When anytime a label say vegetable or it attributes to something being healthy, most of the times it's a lie so disregard the fact that this says vegetable entertainer crackers because ain't nothing vegetable about it it just says vegetable it still has 270 milligrams um this sugar compared to the crackers is a little bit lower but ultimately it's still high in sodium and you know, when I'm going heavy on my, my legs, like my heavy days when I'm in the gym, it's not bad because I need some form of carbs to help fuel, you know, my workout. But if I'm going to, you know, eat this and then go back and eat another pack or eat a few crackers and then go back and eat more crackers, I'm kind of like defeating the purpose, you know. And I was like... This week, I'm going to completely cut that out because even though I'm not eating chips, this is kind of like an equivalent to chips in a sense because it's like it's still high in salt. So, yeah, I'm not eating the chips, which is like a lot of salt, but I'm still eating the crackers as if it was chips. So, I'm like, you know what? I need to get myself under control because we try to we put it in our mind and we say okay i'm gonna cut out this but then we look for other ways healthy ways quote unquote to try to get around 
what the ultimate goal is if the ultimate goal is to lose weight if the ultimate goal is to tone up then you can't say you're going to stop one thing but then you introduce another thing which is kind of like the same in a sense you're just telling yourself that no it's not the same it's a little bit more healthier and it might be a little more healthier however it still has the things that you're trying to get out of your body the things that you're trying to do less of so if you're trying to do less of it you don't want to put it back into your body so yeah that was like a re revelation for me because i went in yesterday and a little bit today and i you know transparency i'm being honest i'm being completely keeping it 100 so that way you guys know my struggles so yeah i had to come to a realization like okay you said you want to do this and then though there's nothing wrong with eating the crackers you know uh within moderation of course there was nothing wrong with because i love peanut butter so you know peanut butter crackers i can do that all day but even though there's nothing wrong with eating it it's the fact that you're overeating it's the fact that you're eating more than what the box says if the service size is one pack don't eat two packs because now you're increasing your number of calories you increasing your number of salt intake so said all that to say that i came to a realization that i need to cut that out as well as what i'm already doing you know all the stuff that i'm already cutting out all the i'm not eating bread so i'm just gonna cut that out for this week i'm not saying i'm gonna cut it out forever but i'm definitely cut it out for this week and just see how it affects my body and i know i have to be in a mental space to get it under control because you can never conquer anything until you mentally get it under control and that way it will be able to you be able to you know live it throughout your life so that's my update um going into week number two I'm definitely gonna get my exercise in i was planning to go to the gym today however i was very tired i don't know why i was tired maybe work or maybe because i'm still sore but i did manage to get a little workout in the house i worked on my arms a little bit and i did a little bit abs so i definitely got that in at home and yeah i'm just gonna continue the workouts continue to eat as healthy as possible and making sure that i be mindful of the things that i put in my body and not try to work around what i'm trying to do and stuff like that and so yeah so that's my update my one week update i will come to you guys next week to let you know my struggles what i struggle with and also let you know what changes that i've seen in my body also one thing i will know um i don't really get on the scale because the scale is kind of tricky like you can be bloated because of what you ate that day so the scale is a little bit tricky i try not to pay too much attention to the scale per se but i like to i'm more so focused on how my body is looking so like if at one point you know i had like more fat here or more fat there and now it's you know getting more defined and more toned then i can see like oh okay yeah it's changing my body is changing but the scale because you can have 135 of fat and 135 of a toned body and at the end of the day you still 135 you're just gonna look differently so i got on the scale in the beginning i was 133 point something and then i got on the scale maybe two or three days ago and i was 128 but then i went back to 130 so it's like tricky so that's why i get on there just as a reference point but i really don't pay too much attention to the scale because like i said it fluctuates depends on depending on what you eat even like putting on more muscle mass it's gonna weigh heavier and if i'm doing a lot of strength training then of course more muscles more heavier weight so yeah um I've noticed 
you know, I noticed it went down and then it went back up. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'll see how I really look and how much I really weigh at the end of this whole challenge. So, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Like I said, I will be checking in with you all next week just to give you another check-in update, what's going on in my world. And so, um, hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you guys later. Please like, subscribe, tune in. I will be posting more often and I will definitely be getting those workout videos up and loaded so you guys can see how am I, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. So I'm just grateful and I'm happy and I, get, I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and exercise.